I kind of like the bit that he was doing, Mark Cuban, of going across Twitter and liking all of the tweets that essentially boil down to calling him an asshat, let's say. Like that, that is essentially what it comes down to. But here's an example of some of the tweets that Mark Cuban liked. Mark Cuban and the Dallas Mavericks is the dumbest S I've ever seen. Damn, man, I'm sick of this front office. Another person, Mark Cuban should file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Another person, I'm not the cynic dumbass Mark Cuban is. These are all tweets that he liked. Mark Cuban in the front office is a joke. Mark Cuban, you guys absolutely suck. F off. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And it was all stemming from Goran Dragic signing with the Chicago Bulls. Look, man, I also wish that we would have gotten a secondary ball handler that can handle 15 minutes of offense every single night or whatever you think the breakdown is. But Goran Dragic ain't taking you to the championship, man. There was an outsized amount of anger for Goran Dragic signing with the Bulls. Well, I think... <sighs> I wasn't as angry as some of the people on Twitter, but I'm really confused on what the Mavericks are doing at point guard. We're going to have one point guard on the whole team. Then he's not a point guard. He's a shooting guard who can handle the ball. Yeah. So I was That's thinking. That's going to be your secondary. All right. Wow. Frank Neely Keene erasure. Well, and see, yeah, that too. Like, and you know, I was surprised, I guess how young he still is. Neely Keene. Because yeah. he's been in the league now four years or yeah. five 17, 18, 19, 20, 25 years. Yeah. And he's still, he's going to be 24 next year. So I'm like, there's still room to grow there, but he's not a point guard either. Like he's, he's proven for the most part that he's not. So I was just thinking, wait, Goran Dragic seems like he's very available. It seems like his best buddy here. And I know best buddy might be a little bit different because it might be big brother, little brother. But they were still even joking out in Europe yeah. when they were playing. And they were like, oh, I can't say till July 1st. And I just, I didn't get it because I thought, well, we'll sign Dragic. That's a good backup. As in, hey, if we end up, if there's a trade that becomes available. Yeah. Well, okay. So we had to trade two or three guys and we ended up, I don't want Kyrie Irving at all. Maybe that's another, you know, segment. But if we got Kyrie Irving, all right, fine. Well, he signed. He actually chose to play with Kyrie Irving last year. Goran Dragic chose to play with Kyrie Irving last year. So for some reason, the Mavs took the swing and they went after Kyrie Irving. And they traded whoever. Yeah. Goran Dragic chose to be on a Kyrie team last year. So you would still get 12 to 15 minutes. I don't think you'd be like, well, I'm just going to sit the bench yeah. type of deal because they traded for Kyrie. So the Mavericks chose, from what I understand, not to pursue Goran Dragic. Okay. And that, I think, is where a lot of the agitation goes. I also don't know... If this was super helpful, the tweet that somebody used a chart from Spotrack, which I think is usually super duper helpful, of actual cash spending over the last five years. Now, don't get it twisted. The salary cap is much more complicated than all this, but actual cash spending over the last five years, the Dallas Mavericks have spent 500 and almost $510 million, which that's a lot, a lot, a lot of money. However, it is absolutely last in the NBA. All 30 teams. All, less than Sacramento. It, less than it is, Oklahoma it, City. Yes. Yeah, it, and I think that last name, saying something like Oklahoma City, is what really sets this over. Because I think the context 70 that's necessary. Million. You got to have the context necessary, which is that the, the Mavericks have either been dealing with rookie contract guys or guys that were second rounders undrafted that did not need a lot of money. However... Even within that, there have been teams that have been absolutely tanking for the whole time that have still spent more money. Oklahoma City, you have spent $70 million less in Oklahoma City. And the thing is that it depends on where you pivot from there. Do you pivot with the idea, well, yeah, but now I'm paying Luca, so our cash will go up a little bit. Or are you like, no, you saved about at least $100 million over the last five years, and it's time to put that into the luxury tax. Just for comparison... The Mavericks are at 510 million. The Golden State Warriors lead the pack at 757 million. All right. But if you want to know how many teams spent at least, like, let's say 600 million, 17. 
17 teams in the last five years spent at least $600 million, and the Mavericks spent $509 million. So you can make a pretty strong argument just off of that that the Mavericks saved about or at least $100 million in cash over yeah. the last five years. And I think that's the frustrating part is they just look at somebody like Goran Dragic, which is not really about Goran Dragic, is there's rumblings that Brunson was always going to go to the Knicks. But there's also rumblings that the Mavericks didn't want to pay a certain amount of money because either A, they didn't think the player was good enough, or B, they didn't want to go that far into the luxury tax. That depends on how you feel about this. But the Mavericks fan base is angry at this point. And I think that they kind of should be, but not as angry as some people are. So as much as I don't I, think you, I'm that angry, you either. want me to join the bandwagon of like Mark Cuban, this and that. And yeah, hey, I've heard that he doesn't really want to pay luxury tax from people that I trust. I've heard from people that I also trust that he's willing to to pay three hundred million dollars a year for a team. I don't know which one's right and which one's wrong because they both somewhat know Mark Cuban in different ways. And I've heard from both sides on how he is pretty stingy with his money. Uh, and then that, oh, no, he would be willing to pay that. But then I've also heard he'd only be willing to pay that if he believes that it's kind of your number one or two in Las Vegas to win the championship, to be like the fifth best team. He might not be as willing to pay Jalen Brunson, which would take his salary up to, I believe, $285 million. Last year, $125 million. Yeah. This year, $285 million. Now he's more at, I guess, like the 170 ish, 180 ish. Yeah, I think I'd right heard now. something like that as well. So, uh, which I, I do get. It's not my money. Right. And I do get if you're like, hey, how much is Jalen Brunson going to cost me a year? $100 million? Like, that's a whole different deal outside right. of just the salary cap. I would point out the amount of money that your franchise has gone up by, but then again, I've never been in a monetary decision yeah. making spot. I I think that he has the built-in 50 win player, which saves his ass. Yeah. And hey, he did it. They were able to trade up from 5 to 3 to get Luka Doncic and Luka is so great as long as he's healthy next year for 70 plus games. They're probably going to go 50 and 32 and hopefully a little bit better. He has the built-in 50-win player. That being said, I just wonder how bad he wants more. And this is hard to, to quantify. know. Quantify, know, is what is he willing to do? Is there anything that is out there that he's willing to do? Like, that's that that is is out there to do, if that makes sense. Because yeah. as much as I can say, hey, I want to have Kevin Durant and I want to have the Greek Freak and I want to have all these players and Joel Embiid on my team. Well, they're not available to you. You don't have the assets to go get those guys or they're just not available to go get. So there's kind of this, this balance of, hey, I would like for you to do more. Exactly what I don't know, but... Just letting Goran Dragic go to the Chicago Bulls is a little bit weird to me. I, I, and I, but I, I'm not upset like you. I'm not upset, but it is weird. No, you just I, yeah, like, I was, we don't need him. Uh.